In this video, I'm demonstrating some of the activities that I taught the students at Brandy Secondary School. I was most interested in introducing them to rhythmic activities, which they found to be most enjoyable and quite natural. The rhythm was provided by beating a tambourine with a stick. Activities included things like these partner activities, and dancing type activities in groups, as well as those incorporating some more primitive themes like stalking the enemy, which they took part in, in great, in, with much enthusiasm. Now they are demonstrating their ability to skip, jump, leap and turn. These movements were quite new to these boys. But once again, they took part with great enthusiasm. Here, they are being asked to repeat the beat on the drum. They did this very well, but sometimes they found it really quite hilarious. Point your toes and flex your ankles. Dance around and then run and go between your partner's legs. These films were used as a teaching aid to show students back at a sofa what to expect and what they could achieve when they began their teaching careers in Papua New Guinea. Now we are visiting Bainik Primary School. Bainik is a small village some 70 or so kilometres from Wewak up in the mountains. And that's the school there. The children are seen here attending to the gardens where they grew a large amount of their taro and sweet potato, which was the staple diet of these people. This is part of the school, showing a classroom with open windows, but no glass. I asked the lads to show me some of their favourite activities such as fun with tyres,
I also introduce these lads to some of my rhythmic activities, which they enjoyed tremendously. In turn, they demonstrated their musical skills with homemade flutes and bamboo juice harps. And then they showed off their wonderfully decorated bamboo pencil cases. 